Okay, so this is Teacher Gwen, Biology Form 5, Chapter 13, Genetic Engineering. Okay, second part of this chapter, 13.2, Biotechnology. Definitions of biotechnology. Biotechnology is a field which utilizes technology or method to manipulate organism for the production of biological products. So, ini adalah definisi kepada biotechnology. So, the aim of biotechnology is to improve the quality of livestock and crops as well as to develop the applications of microorganism for specific purposes. Okay? So, biotechnology involve various discipline of science. Dia melibatkan banyak-banyak uh, bidang science. Huh? So, each discipline that involve the use of a living organism for a specific purpose is given a specific color code. Okay? Seperti yang ditunjukkan dalam ini. Figure 13.3 di sini. So, red one di sini. This one is for medicine and human health. Marine biotechnology. Environmental biotechnology. Law, ethics and philosophy. This one is food and nutrition. Uh, yang ini, bioterrorism and biological warfare. Bioinformatics and computer science. This one is biotechnology of desert and dry region. Region. This one is improving agricultural product. Okay, yang this one is industrial processes that involve microorganism. So, although ten biotechnologies activities are identified, the main ones are the green, white, yellow, and blue biotechnology activities. So, applications of biotechnology in life. The first one is gene therapy. Gene therapy is used to treat or prevent genetic diseases. Okay. In gene therapy, normal gene is inserted into the patients to replace the abnormal gene. So, this is cell with abnormal gene. Okay. The normal gene um, is inserted to replace the abnormal gene using a virus. So now the cell perform uh, performs normal function. Okay? So the diseases that can be cured by gene therapy are cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy and a few types of cancer. So there is a history there. The first successful gene therapy was performed in 1990 on Ashanti de Silva. This is a patient with ADA acid a genetic disease that interfere with body immune system. So, this is what is cystic fibrosis. This is an um, inherited disorder that causes uh, severe damage to the lungs, digestive system, and other organs in the body. Manakala, this one, uh, muscular dystrophy, this is also inherited diseases, uh, penyakit keturunan juga, that damage and weaken uh, muscles over time. This damage and weakness is due to the lack of protein called uh, dystrophin. Dystrophin protein. Eh? Lack of dystrophin protein. Okay. This protein is necessary for normal mu muscle function. Tetapi oleh kerana dia lack of this type of protein, so sebab itu, the muscle will weak over time. Okay. The absence of this protein can cause problems with walking, swallowing and muscle uh, co coordination. The second one is DNA profiling. This is a technique used in forensic to identify individuals based on their DNA. Okay, kenapa dia disebut DNA profiling? Ataupun another name is DNA fingerprinting. Okay, this is due to the fact that an individual uh, DNA, individual's DNA is unique. Okay. Dia juga disebut sebagai DNA fingerprinting sebab selalunya uh, memang uh, bukan selalunya memang our fingerprint is unique betul kan our fingerprint is unique so that's why dia sebut DNA fingerprinting ataupun DNA profiling okay so ini adalah disebabkan oleh fact that individuals DNA is unique okay so, an individual can be identified based on DNA obtained from his or her blood, 
uh, semen for male or skin. Okay, so ini adalah applications of DNA profiling to identify criminal, okay, to settle the paternity and maternity dispute, uh, identify genetic diseases, and to determine the suitability of organ, donor, and recipient. Okay, so history corner, DNA profiling technique was invented by Sir Alec Jeffrey, okay, in 1985. He was awarded by his achievement, the Copley Medal, the oldest award before the Nobel Prize was introduced. So, this is DNA profiling can be used as a strong evidence in a criminal case, okay, in a criminal case if the biological sample is obtained and processed correctly and consensusly, okay. The forensic scientists test the sample and analyze it meticulously in a transparent manner. The test results are interpreted precisely and the jury and judge obtain an accurate report. So, ini adalah sangat uh, strong evidence ah, dalam satu criminal case. DNA profiling ini adalah sangat adalah bukti yang kukuh. Okay? Tapi sekiranya semua ini ditepati. Alright? Steps used in DNA profiling. The first one, ah, blood semen or skin sample is obtained from an investigation scene contohlah crime scene ah crime scene so ini semua sample ini obtained from the scene investigation scene dna is extracted from the sample and then the restriction enzyme cut the dna into different size of dna fragment Okay, next one. The DNA fragments of different size are then separated by gel electrophoresis. DNA fragments of different size are transferred from the gel to a nylon membrane. Radioactive probes are added to the nylon membrane. X-ray film is then placed on top of the nylon membrane. The X-ray film is processed to show the positions of the DNA bands that form the DNA profile. So, dalam gambar raja ini, this one, uh, dia lebih kurang seperti itulah, the DNA band. Uh. Ini, yang garis-garis ini adalah DNA band. Okay, this one is the DNA profile. Okay, DNA profile. Kenapa dia ada garis-garis seperti ini? Because di sini, the restriction enzyme cut the DNA into different size. And then, the different size of the DNA fragment is separated by gel electrophoresis. Okay, sebab itu dia ada seperti ini. Okay, the smaller size, dia akan di bawah sekali. Okay, yang bigger size, dia berada di atas. So, di sini, the DNA fragment sudah separated. So, example di sini, we have mother, child, father one, father two. So, contohnya kita ingin menentukan siapakah father. Who is the father for the child? Okay. So, yang purple ini adalah the DNA profile for the mother. Okay. Sorry, for the mother. And red ini adalah from the father. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok mana yang matching. Eh? Mana yang matching. Eh? Sini. This one. The first one. Yang first one di sini. Okay. Dia sama. Father one, father two. Okay. Father one, father two. So, okay. Part yang kedua di sini, dia sama dengan father one. Okay. The third one also sama dengan father one. Okay. We look at the red one only ah, because the purple one is from the mother. We want to determine who is uh, the father. Okay. The father. So, di sini. Okay. Di sini. Dia sama dengan father one. And father two. Betul kan? Tetapi yang di sini hanya sama dengan father one sahaja. Begitu juga dengan yang ini. Hanya sama dengan father one sahaja. So, di sini dia punya DNA itu lebih match kepada father father one. Okay? So, itu adalah lebih kurang um, application lah. Application dalam DNA profiling ataupun DNA finger fingerprinting. Okay, next one. 
Productions of insect tolerant plants. Uh, ini adalah tumbuhan yang tolerant kepada insect lah. Okay, farming cotton breed with high yield and resistance to pests such as BT cotton. Okay, this one is BT cotton in cotton farms has reduced the use of pesticides. The BT crop is injected with genes from Bacillus thuringiensis BT. Yeah? Uh, this is a type of soil bacteria that secrete toxins. Okay, so this effort has saved cost by reducing the use of pesticides and also increases the cotton yield. Okay, selain daripada cotton, BT crop, selain daripada cotton adalah corn and also brinjal. So, this is normal crop, this is GMO crop. Kalau kita tengok normal cotton di sini, dia tidak berapa banyak yield dia. Tapi kalau kita tengok BT cotton, uh, dia punya yield lagi tinggi. And then normal corn kita tengok di sini compared to BT corn. Kita boleh nampak perbezaan dia kan, quality dia dan juga yield dia. Okay, so effect of BT crops on pests. Oh, gini, gene that produces BT toxin from Bacillus thuringiensis. Okay, gene itu inserted into the plant's genome. Okay, so pest feeds on the plants which produces BT toxin. So, the plant study, dia akan produce BT toxin because of the gene that produce BT toxin inserted into the plant genome. So, now, the plant will uh, produce BT toxin. So, jika pest, if the pest feeds on the plant, what happen? It will kill the pest. Okay? The toxin affect the digestive system of the pest and kill it. So, ini adalah yang disebabkan, ini akan menyebabkan Reduced use of pesticides. Okay. Reduced use of pesticides. Seterusnya adalah cleaning of oil spills. Okay. This one. Photograph 13.7. Ini adalah oil contamination. Ah, di sea lah ni. Sea ka. Okay. Environment. Okay. Bioremediation. This is a method which uses bacteria to clean off environmental pollutant it is effective to treat oil sp spillage in the ocean most molecules in crude oil and purified oil products can be degraded by bacteria so for example this one alkanivorex borcumensis this is a type of bacteria that depends on oil for its source of energy this is widely used to treat oil spills okay This is widely used to treat oil spills. Okay. The fields of biotechnology has developed rapidly in Malaysia and has improved human lives in both developing and developed countries. So, kamu pernah dengar pasal Dolly. This is the first clone ship called Dolly. Nama dia Dolly ya. Nama dia Dolly. This is the first clone ship. Okay. Contributions of biotechnology of life. Field agriculture contribution produce the best livestock and crop breeds. The tissue culture method and cloning techniques have expedited. This one is mempercepatkan, okay, mempercepatkan the the plant reproduction. Produce paddy varieties which give more yield and mature faster. Animal cloning enable mass reproduction and produces disease resistance clones. Use of hormones expedite animal growth and maturity. Mempercepatkan growth of animal and also the maturity of animals. Okay. In medicine, okay, field medicine can modify the genetic contents of an individual, reduce risk of mental disease. Prevent specific disease such as cancer and inherited diseases. Human with dwarf genetic can have normal children. Assist mothers with difficulty to conceive. Okay, yang susah untuk um, pregnant. Okay, it will help mothers with the difficulty to conceive. The forensic field forensic can identify criminal based on tissue or body fluid such as blood semen, skin or hair follicle. Um, environment field microbes can expedite the
the decay of waste product created by human. Mempercepatkan penguraian waste product. Ah. Microbes can also degrade faces completely. Okay. Reduce pollution to protect humans and the environment. So, itu yang kita belajar dalam chapter 13. Genetic technology. Kita sudah belajar genetic engineering. The definition. The applications of genetic engineering. The GMO. The GMF. And also the productions of insulin. Okay. And also biotechnology. The definitions of biotechnology. Application. And the importance of biotechnology. Okay, application in gene therapy, DNA profiling or DNA fingerprinting, pest tolerant plants and also the cleaning of oil spills. Okay, alright, that's all. Thank you.